Hello everyone, welcome back to another LEGO set review. Uh, for some reason I haven't look, um, reviewed this one. This is one of my older ones, I guess, ish. This came out in 2017. This is set number 75168, Yoda's Jedi Starfighter from the Clone Wars. This has 262 pieces and it retailed for $25, I think. Pretty sure. Um, yeah, this is an older one. For some reason I have not reviewed this I don't know, it's just been sitting on the back burner for whatever reason. Yeah, I did get this in 2017. Um, to be honest with you, this is probably one of my least favorite sets. I, I don't regret getting it, but I don't love it. Like, I don't love, love it like most of my sets that I have. I don't know. It's cool. Got some cool figures. You got Yoda and you got R2. This is from Season 6 of The Clone Wars. This is when Yoda went on his own for, like almost the entire sixth season to so like hunt down the sith like the track down where darth bane was i believe uh, i haven't seen it in a while but that was the near the end of the clone wars that was like the end of it and then season seven came back on disney plus which is fantastic but yeah um it's a cool set um it doesn't have much to offer to be honest uh, in my opinion i do have quite a few jedi ships i have Plo Koons from 2011, and Anakin's from 2007, I want to say. 2008. It's 2000, It's when the Clone Wars first came out. The Clone Wars, not the first Clone Wars. The the two, the two 3D version. It's kind of confusing. Anyway, um, I'm going to push the ship aside for just a little bit uh, to take a look at the minifigs. Um, one second. Let me zoom in a little bit. So we've got two minifigs here. I'll start with R2. R2-D2. Um, he's not really that different. Like, he's cool. Um, I already have, like, three of him. So, he's cool. Um, this is the 2017-ish version. Um, so, like, the newer-ish version. He's got some pretty good printing. He's got some silver and blue. It's R2. It's it's pretty iconic. It's He's very recognizable. There's nothing really wrong with him. I guess... He could have back printing. I think they have started to do that now with the back of R2, like these droids, I think. Yeah, they, they started to do that. It's got some awesome detailing. Um, the best part about these R2 figures is that they can be like the original movies or like the Clone Wars version because they're basically the same thing. Like R2 basically stays the same throughout the entire saga, which is kind of cool. I like that. It's really neat. Um... So yeah, he stays the same no matter what version of Star Wars you're watching. Um, so yeah, this is a cool figure. Probably the most boring one, but it, it's it's cool. Like, it's R2. Like, it's awesome. So yeah. And you get Grand Master Yoda. Um, the Yoda figure, it's pretty good. Like, I mean, he's not that interesting. Like, compared to Mace Windu, I feel like Mace Windu is a cooler figure to me. And Qui-Gon and, like, Obi-Wan like some of those other Jedi. Like, I feel like with Yoda, they could have maybe done something special with like his legs maybe, or like given him a cloak or something. His detailing is pretty simple. I mean, he's got the Jedi robes. I mean, it's Yoda. I mean, it's, it's like, he's iconic like R2. Like he's pretty good. He's got a great, you know, molded head with those great eyes. Got the wrinkles, got the hair in the back. He's got the hood. He's got a lightsaber, of course. I do wish he came with his cane. I think that would have maybe been cool, but anyway, yeah, R2's, or Yoda's cool, um, pretty cool figure, he's just not that exciting to me, because I already have him, I like to have, have two of them, but yeah, great figure, pretty important for this set, I think, um, and yeah, the figures are pretty okay, I mean, they're good, they're just not, like, outstanding, but, you know, anyway, we'll, we'll move on, give me one second here. Okay, let's get some light in here. Sorry. Uh, one second. Adjust the lighting a little bit. All right. Um, see, those are the figures. You only get two of them, which is fine. I mean, it's just a starfighter. Most starfighter sets just come with like two figures because it's a starfighter. Um, you know. It's not a ship, like a starship, which can hold multiple characters. Anyway, 
This is the Jedi Interceptor. This is the ETA-2, I believe. So this is the... So early in the Clone Wars, they had the the Starfighter, the Jedi Starfighter, like the triangle shape. And the later years of the Clone Wars, they had these versions, which, like... It's kind. Of, it's a little bit confusing. Like in Revenge of the Sith, in the clone, in the later half of the Clone Wars, they changed their design. So this is what it looks like, uh, kind of in this era. So like the latter half of the Clone Wars, um, they use this design. It's an interceptor, so it's much more deadly. It's much more like powerful and Ill elegant. Um, and yeah, and I think it's kind of cool that these starfighters kind of change. Like each Jedi has their own unique fighter. Which I think is really cool. Like they customize it with paint and you know decoration and stuff. Yoda's is interesting. It's smaller than the normal version because Yoda is a smaller character, so it kind of makes sense. Um, this does have a bit of stickers. Anywhere you see like a decoration is a sticker. Uh, let's see. There should be two here, two here, two on the engines. I think that's it. Uh, yeah. So about two, four, six stickers. Think. Yeah, six stickers. Not too bad. Um, you can see these engines here. It does have these missile shooters, of course. You can see the tips right there. Uh, you just press them, fire off. These things are kind of dangerous. You got to be careful. <laughs> just be careful. They, they pack a punch. So, yeah. Uh, do not aim it at your eye. Um, it does have some classic Jedi fighter features, such as the wings being able to move so they can actually like um angle like in the show so that's what that looks like it looks pretty good looks pretty nice it's kind of a simple build like it's more of a technic build than some of the other starfighters but i think that's fine it's got this cool angle to it where the wings are kind of facing inward like they're kind of pointed inward which i think is really cool um and yeah on the back here there is a spot for R2. You just pop him in there, boop, there he is. He's very unprotected. Like, if there's like an enemy, he's just dead. Like, there's no protection. Anyway, that's how he looks in that episode, uh, or those episodes where he goes with Yoda. Um, so yeah, there's R2 looking pretty good on there. Um, you can kind of see him popping up there. Um, I think my favorite part about this set, um, other than that coming off, is the TIE Fighter cockpit. Yes, this is a TIE Fighter piece. Um, you know what's kind of funny? These Jedi Starfighters eventually evolved into TIE Fighters, pretty much. Pretty much. Um, which is kind of interesting. Um, yeah, Lego used this TIE Fighter piece. It's a great piece. Uh, to get inside, you basically just lift this down. And this uh, section lifts up. You can stick Yoda... Uh, you gotta take his lightsaber off, or take it out of his hand, um, because it will not, he won't really fit with it on, or, he won't really fit with it in his hand. So, yeah, it's kind of a small little seat there, you can see in there, and you put him in there, and you close it up. And this is only really meant for Yoda, so no other Jedi can really go into it, unless you modify it, which is fine. And, uh, yeah, that's all the features... I mean, that's all it does. You, you can open the wings, you can shoot the missiles, open the cockpit, and put the R2 in there. It's not that exciting, to be honest with you, but it's still cool. Um, I think my favorite Starfighter is probably Anakin's that I got from 2007. That one was just iconic. Like, as a Lego Star Wars set, it was iconic for the time. Because the Clone Wars just came out. And it was a big deal. Um, so yeah. I wish I could show you that set, but it's it's broken. As there are most of my old sets. But uh yeah, this one's cool. This is probably one of my least favorite sets, just because there's not a ton to it. Like it's no it doesn't have a pizzazz. Like it's just kind of a blah set, in my opinion. But I don't regret getting it. It's a cool model. I like looking at it. It's just, you know, not super exciting, like, a, like you know, I don't know, an X-Wing or, I don't know, a Razor Crest. It's just not, boom, super exciting, but you know what? I still like it. Uh, I'm probably going to give it probably an 8 out of 10. Not too bad. Uh, if you can find it for cheap, I'd recommend it, especially if you want, like, all the Jedi fighters. 
you definitely want this one. This one is probably one of the most important ones, along with the Mace Windu one, which came out, uh, I think, in 2011. So, yeah, I think most of the Jedi actually have their own Lego fighter sets, which is pretty cool. I mean, obviously, you have Anakin's, you have Obi-Wan's, you've got Yoda's here, you've got Mace, uh, you got Seisig Tin had his own one, you got some Jedi shuttles in there. So yeah, there's a lot of been a lot of Jedi ships. I think this is probably one of the better ones. Uh, the stickers are cool. The green and gray is pretty cool. It's very accurate to the Clone Wars uh, season six, whereas this appeared. I think that was the only time it showed up. Um, it's very accurate. So you know, if you want an accurate set, go for it. It's a Clone Wars set. People go crazy for it. I love Clone Wars sets, so it's great to have one, even if it's not the strongest. Um, yeah, what do you guys think about this one? Do you have it? Do you want it? Uh, do you like Yoda? Do you think they should update him? I think they probably should at some point, maybe update Yoda just a little bit to make him more interesting as a figure. But, yeah, that's all I got for you. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more reviews. Let me know what you think down below, and I will see you for the next one. Take care.